When you think of New Zealand rugby history, the first thing you may come to mind will be the Ranfurly Shield. Only up for grabs when the defender plays a regular season home match. So for many sides, opportunities to get this famous log of wood are few and far between. Today, it is a special, special honour to have it on the line today as Taranaki will defend the famous log of wood against Tasman. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cornflakes Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the ITM Cup where we are into the second round of the tournament and Taranaki have drawn an unlucky draw really. The holders have two defences of the Ram Freddy Shield to kick off their season last week. They defeated Northland and they kept hold of the Rand Frilly Shield. Now they have to come back after beating Northland 25 to 15 as well. Comprehensive win for them. Now they have to do the same thing as new visitors come along in the form of Tasman. So winner takes all, a draw will remain the holder will retain the Rand Frilly Shield. Of course, regular points are also up for grabs, but for these smaller nations, it means so much to just have an opportunity to see and play for this famous trophy. Well, Tasman had a great opening period to their game. They smashed Wellington 19 to 10, and that was a great start to their season. They'll be looking to back that up here against Taranaki, whom they could take a famous piece of silverware back with them. Well, it's not really silver, it's more wooden, but there you go, trophy nonetheless on the line here for Tasman. If they can back it up, can they find form twice in a row? Once again, it'll be Cowan and Banks that they'll rely on the most, and their forwards will really need to tee up if they're going to back up a great performance here and look to beat Taranaki at home. Teams lift so well for this Ram Frilly Shield, and both these sides, I'm sure, will play out of their skin to try and secure that log of wood for their province. Relatively unchanged teams. Taranaki will be kicking off. A small, noisy crowd here as we're underway. It will be McKenzie to kick off round two. It is a challenge number two of the Ranfurly Shield here between Tasman and Taranaki. And we are underway. It is Tasman with the first use of the ball. And Liam Squire has it on the left side for Lowe who gets hammered. Big Release. piece of defense here from Taranaki. No chance sitting back here from these guys. They will be keen to put some points on the board early and show their domination to try and keep this trophy in town. A force of ground, no chance through there for Taranaki and Cowan. We'll go to Banks and Banks will look to kick this away out of their territory. And he gets over halfway, waiting at the back is James Marshall. He'll turn, he runs straight into Bryce Heen, but a great pass as he offloads, big thumping kick. Down to Kieran Fonatia. Oh, he's hammered. Massive shot on Fonatia. Cowan swings it back. And beautifully away from Banks. And the chase from Cowan is good. McDonald has a hard job putting down his opposite number, but finally they get it away. Taranaki. Broken defence as they swing it through the backs. Naholu in midfield with Dantai. Now it goes to the big man in the middle. Carmichael keeping involved as Taranaki charge up towards the 22. It's all been the Taranaki side at the moment. Smiley, big ball wide. Another chance as they find Baker at it. Oh, Baker gets smashed from low. And this has to be early chance for some points. Taranaki could open up through Marty McKenzie. Oh no, McKenzie won't be taking the kicking duties. Wow, this is a bit of a change here. Who is this? Oh, and there we go. It's Pelisuma, the outside centre, taking the kill. Oh, goodness me. You're not going to defend the shield with kicks like that. Banks runs sideways. There's no way he's getting out of there. And he decides the sensible option is to place the ball down. And try clear it out of the 22. Banks. Trots up, thumps it down the heart of the field. And waiting at the back is Natai. Natai offloads nicely and has a big run from Price. Taken down from Perry. Release. Again, Taranaki holding on to position for a long phase as a smiley gets a big hit but gets the kick away. It's there for Heen. 
Heem turns. Heem runs. Finds cover. Butty. Oh, that's a shocker. Is that a forward pass? It is. Kavu Bhatti throwing a wobbly old one out to Heem. And Tasman have been encamped inside their own 22. Crouch. Touch. It is a scrum feed for Smiley. Set. And Taranaki. <laughs> and it goes. It's a steady one here. The Marcos trying to fight back, but they won't see this ball. Smiley's options. He does go short side to the left. Naholo. Back in field he goes, but taken down is really? Thompson. Smiley again. Pops it past everyone. He finds Barrett. Massive hole out here. And it's a try to open up. Kurt Baker, I think, is the scorer. Too much width there. Tasman, no chance. And it is Kurt Baker. Well, it had to come sooner or later from Taranaki. Great run there. Thompson with a huge pass. Finding Kurt Baker. Massively unmarked. No chance to stop that from Tasman. What are they thinking with this defensive line? Completely disorientated. And there could have been three or four scorers of that try. Not the best way to start. Your attempted takeover of the Ranfurly Shield. Now, Pelly Suma, now this is interesting that they've got him kicking when they have Marty McKenzie, who's not a bad kicker of the ball. But the outside centre, oh, wow, that's dreadful. What is going on here with Taranaki? They've just thrown away five points, a conversion and a penalty. Tasman won't mind because it's keeping them in this match. And we'll have Banks back at halfway. Banks goes along. Cowan gives a good chase, as are a couple of other Tasman players. But a beautiful offload to Natai. And Heem is running after the kick. Beautiful work from Charlie Natai. He's keeping them on their toes. As Marshall receives the ball, Perry offloads to Banks. Banks to Fonatia. Now there's some space here for Lowe. Lowe looks inside, swings out of one, finds Kevin Barty, who's given it away. And Hello Nuka Nuka goes crashing into the tackle. He's turned it over as well. Christy Wheeler fires a big ball to Banks. Banks is looking to run. He finds Heem. Heem's still got support. Can't get. Oh, he does get through. Taken on the second tackle. Cowan, first man to the breakdown. He can't stop the Taranaki side. Oh, oh look at that intercept though. Straight back for Tasman. And then they lose it once again. Smiley. Well, it's. Toss the ball about at the moment and see where it ends up. As Taranaki finds some space away. Good run here from Coswell. He's got the pass. Brilliant work. And the holo will be in for the second. Was sucking the holo. Well, Taranaki are looking a team way better at the moment. They've scored two tries. There is the holo getting the second. What a run there from Croswell. He took out four defenders, then got the offload away. Naholo, one of the best finishers in the game. Easily finished that off. Well, Taranaki, out of their skin at the moment. This is what it's all about. Rising to the occasion. Tasman failing to do that at the moment. But once again, I'm going to go back to the fact that this man here is becoming a bit of a problem here for Taranaki. If he misses another kick, there's certain issues. It's 10-0. Oh, it's not going to come back at all. And he has now thrown away seven points for Taranaki. They should be ahead 17-0. But they're only ahead 10 to zip. Banks looks serious. This is a big-time chance for the Tasman side. He kicks off again. Again, straight down the middle. Marshall gives a hard chase. And it comes down easily for Taranaki. Release. Oh, look at this from Tasman. The Marcos get the ball back. Banks plays scrum half. Finds Cowan. Pops a shot for Christie. Christie's in behind. He offloads to Banks. Banks with Fonatea. Oh, he could not find that last pass. Lowe was waiting. 
Where we go for Wheeler. Squire. Squire to Banks. Banks has two men over. That's Marshall. Marshall will dot down. And Tasman are right back in the match. Half time has gone. The Marcos have got possibly the most important try to date. Well, they had to come. They were really on the front foot and not really looking good. How many times was Banks involved? He was really the linchpin in all that movement. He quickly got himself set to where he needed to be. Here it was. He had the decision. He backed himself. And he got that pass away beautifully. And Tom Marshall has scored as James Marshall looked on for Taranaki. So here is an aspect of the match that could prove the difference. It's 5-10. But the goal kicking. Banks thumps it. Gives it a great nudge and it's over. That is going to be the difference I feel. It's a three-point game. Taranaki have dominated for 35 minutes. Yet it is Tasman who have just scored in the dying moments. And now we'll head to the sheds. Just three points adrift. And right in this round for early shield match. We can look at some stats here. 10-7. Boy, oh boy, what is Peliasuma doing kicking these goals? I have no idea what they are thinking, Taranaki. But it is all a shambles as they look to defend for the second time this season. Position fairly even, but it is territory. Taranaki have been camped out in the 22 of Tasman. High tackles, well, didn't come to anything because they missed the penalty, Taranaki. Line breaks, 3-2. to two. It's been a fairly industrious first half by these two sides. Taranaki have made all the play. They've made the opportunities. They've scored the tries, yet they only lead by three. And if Tasman can live off that last little bit, that last little bite that they received, they could be in with a fantastic chance. Taranaki have to make changes. They have to shift out someone and give the kicking duties to someone other than Paliasuma because that is killing them at the moment. Can Tasman find more of what they got at the end of that first half? Or will Taranaki finally sort things out with their kicking? All to come. Second half which is about to get underway. Round two of the ITM Cup, doubling up, is a Ranfurly Shield challenge match. Tasman will be wanting that long of wood as Banks gets his back underway. He goes dig down again, and once again it's easily dealt with from Taranaki. But it's when it gets to ruck time that they're struggling, and they've lost the ball again. Now we go away for Fonatea. Oh, good tackle on Kieran Fonatia. Just Tasman dealing with it. Cowan goes to Banks. Looked like he was teeing something up. Changed his mind. Low gets back and field for Wheeler. Wheeler through. Oh, that's a high shot. Wheeler's been taken high. And a yellow card to boot. Oh, that's going to be crucial. Who's gone here? I can't tell. Turn around. There we go. It's a fullback, James Marshall. Oh, that is going to be massive for Taranaki. The match is falling apart for them. And now it will be Banks with a chance to tie this game up. Tasman will know they need to win to take the shield. Banks, though, nails it. That's three points. And we're all tied up here. Ten apiece. Tasman looking the better side out of the sheds here already. A yellow card for Taranaki. They're without their fullback, James Marshall. How will they fight back? Yellow cards becoming an all-too-regular thing these days. As McKenzie kicks off to Squire, who fires a big ball to McDonald. Fonatea coming to the right-hand side. Takes out the tackle of Naholo. Heem back in field, and it's turned over. Great tackle, great intercept. And now we come away. Taranaki looking through Natai. Oh, Banks has stolen it. And Banks runs away. He finds Lowe. This could be interesting. Has he got the legs? James Lowe looks in field. He won't. He's knocked on in the tackle. And we've gone into touch. Well, he is a speedster as James Lowe. But he has been brought in beautifully by the cover defence. Crouch. Saving the Crouch. day for Taranaki. 
Smiley will feed the scrum. They are missing one player in their four pack, it seems. He's out in the back line. So a seven man shove here from Taranaki. Holds up true. They look to Baker. Oh, Baker's hammered! But he still somehow managed to flick it in field. Tasman. Oh, Tasman, get it back. Now we're all on here. Fonatia. Quinton McDonald running around the outside. McDonald. Has he got the pace? He'll go himself. Oh, the hooker with an extremely important try. Fanner's brilliance from McDonald. How much speed did he show just then? We've seen him for the Crusaders. He is a brilliant prospect for the future. Fonatia, look at that speed. It was his opposite number as well. Reese Marshall. He is no slouch. Two incredible ball playing hookers in this match. But Quinton McDonald has got the killer blow here. It was a number two battle. No one was stopping the big hooker. Such pace. And he scored a huge try in the overall of this match. Banks will line up another important kick. Everything is important when it comes to a chance for the Ranfrony Shield. Here's Banks. Oh, he is on fire. Marty Banks, a brilliant work. That is how you do it. And it will be Marshall to come back onto the field for Taranaki. Gets a huge roar from his home crowd. But he has cost his team 10 points now. As Tasman leads 17 10. McKenzie kicks us back underway. Oh, that's well taken. And instantly it's Taranaki running through Croswell. No way through. And they look all short. Oh, and a massive tackle. Wow. Squire, Liam Squire has huge, huge hit. Can we see? No, we won't see that again. I'm, I'm concerned here that Taranaki are going to line up another kick, but they don't. They've given it to McKenzie. And he's nudged it into touch right in the corner. And the intent is clear here for this Taranaki side. They need tries. They want tries. To the back. Oh, it's stolen. Kellen gives it quickly to Banks. And Banks will line up a thumper straight down the left-hand touchline. It's a man back from yellow card. Marshall, who takes it, feeds it in. Oh, good run there from Barrett. Release. And Taranaki hold the ball here. Price. Well, Price is picked up and taken backwards. Another big hit from the Marcos. They dig in and they turn this ball over. Cowan, wide for Marshall. Marshall running. He finds Heem. Heem's thrown it to no one. And still is has to reluctantly watch it go over the touchline. Wow, well, George Stowers looking around the outside there. Heem just messed it up a touch. Played it too heavy. Another line out this time to the middle and Broadhurst. A key man here for this Taranaki line out. As they look wide. McKenzie tries to go through Banks. Banks takes him out. The Marcos try to tee it up there at the breakdown. Another big hit from Cowan. And another turnover two here for the Marcos. And where it goes for Marshall. He's going to look to pop it in the corner. It's going to be James Marshall chasing hard. Oh, he's missed it. And now it's finally come down. Baker will kick return as it goes through. One, two. Oh! Another high shot. This time it's Marty Banks. Well, the lead is there for the Marcos. 74 minutes. They need to score here, Taranaki. If they can get a try and convert it, they will hold on to the shield. They won't care too much about missing points. McKenzie, beautiful ball as they look wide again for Baker. Baker's taken down a good tackle from low. Oh, and a good turnover from low. He fires it to Christie, who's thrown an intercept. Well taken from Tavau. Haven't seen much of the big players from Taranaki. As we have another run from Barrett. McKenzie looks wide. Big pass. Again, it's the Holo. Driven into touch. 
And the danger man for Taranaki misses another chance. Jimmy Cowan, beautiful on defence. Half a minute to go. The shield on the line. Quinton McDonald will throw in. Oh, well, they've got it. Cowan fires it for Stowers. Stowers puts it into touch. And they've won the shield. Tasman have come down to Taranaki and stolen away the Ranfurly shield. 17 points to 10. We have new holders of the Loggerwood. Well, Taranaki may well look dejected. We have to come back to the fact of number 13. Pelissima kicking the goals. The difference in the end, that all it was. 17 to 10. Tasman will be celebrating long into the night. They are the new Ranfurly Shield holders. They have taken out Taranaki. We'll have a look at the scorers here. Hopefully we'll get to see a bit of a presentation for the shield for the Tasman Marcos. Taranaki, two tries for Baker and Naholo. The two wingers, but there it was the conversions, the penalties that proved the difference. It should have been a draw. Peliasuma should not have been kicking. It should have been at least Marty McKenzie, the fly half, but no. Why? I'm unsure Taranaki pick their own squads. I don't know where that's gone wrong. No clue at all. They missed two conversions and a penalty. On the other side of the scale, Marty Banks nailed two conversions and a penalty to give them the 17 points they required. Tries for McDonald and Marshall. They were the difference, but it was the kicks to Banks that really proved the ultimate winner. And to the stats for full time, Tasman nudging out possession, but they still could not get a hold of the territory they would have liked. They broke the line seven times, which is heaps, but only managed a couple of tries. As for Taranaki, three line breaks, two tries. That's a pleasing thing, along with handling errors of zero, but Tasman have got the win, and end of the day, it doesn't matter what the stats say. The shield is leaving the Naki, and it is going down to Tasman, where we will see many challenges, hopefully, from the Marcos. I'm pretty sure there's a home match next week which means a defense of the Round Fairly Shield. So expect to see that plenty more times in the future. Hopefully, we'll get to see a bit of a presentation before we head back to check out other things like the ICM Cup table, which kind of takes a bit of a back seat when you get these Round Fairly Shield matches. And yes, we do have it. There it is. Round Fairly Shield going to the Marcos. Huge moment for the small union. Well, that is a massive achievement for the Tasman Marcos. They have won the Ranfurly Shield of Taranaki, and we can have a look at a couple of matches since then have been played out before we have our second round two match. The Southland Stags up against Otago, and it is Hawks Bay who have beaten Bay of Plenty, and Auckland who have beaten Waikato. That tees us up for our match, Southland versus Otago, which will be coming very soon. But Tasman, Ranfurly Shield holders. Let's check out the standings here. And Tasman sits second on the table. Two wins from two matches, but they have that little icon that will mean the world to this Tasman side. Two matches, two wins, but the Round Friday Shield holders, a massive achievement for the Marcos. Big time, big time achievement. Canterbury sit top, Southland are down in sixth. Just one match played by them. They'll have their next game against Otago, who have had one loss so far. And that is what we have to look forward to. South and Rusty Targa, of course, we can forget about the Shield for one match at least. And we'll have back to Tasman, who will, I think, defend it in their next match. But we'll see that after we have the South and Stags against the Targo. Boy, if these two sides meet, it's going to have to be a battle of the AI. But we'll deal with that when we get to it. As for now, it is the Tasman Marcos, Renfrewly Shield holders. And they will be celebrating long into the night for that one and that has been done and dusted for today thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time for southland versus the targo it is just the itm cup such excitement here until then thanks for watching and take care